Hi, I'm Senpai Robin, and today I'll be playing Diablo 4, trying to get to level 50. I did a stream a couple days ago where I didn't quite make it to level 50, uh, and, well actually I only made it to level, level 42, uh, but I've been doing a lot of grinding off camera, and now I'm level 49, so I thought I'd share the experience with you of me getting to level 50, so yeah, let's go. Uh, to do it, we're just gonna go do some, like, side quests, uh, also, I've been like doing, just going through doing like these things to get renown, uh, trying to get, collect some of these bonuses because you get like potions and skill points, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and anyways, let us continue playing today. <laughs> uh, yeah, to be honest, all I really need to do is some more of these side quests. Uh, I've been using the side quests mostly to get renown that side dungeons and strongholds, except in this place I've only done one side dungeon. Uh, but doing strongholds gives you gives you a hundred. I just don't know where all the strongholds are right now. Um, so we have, let's see, bonus XP. I'm just looking at, yeah, right now I can only get to the third thing because I don't have the other difficulties yet. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do stuff in Kajistan. So we'll start with a wolf's honor. I'm not sure how many of these quests I'll have to do, but yeah, hopefully it's not many. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what to do right now um, because I wanted to wait and complete the story until after I get to level 50. Uh, I'm in uh, Act Six right now, and yeah, I can once I get to level 50, I want to complete it. I mean, I could have completed it already, but yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be cool to get to level 50 first, so like unlock Paragon first. Which is why I'm trying to get to 50, by the way. I'll show you. If you look in here, um, I'm sure most people already know. I think it's... No, it's in your skill thing. Yeah, Paragon right here. Paragon requires level 50. Um... And I mostly just wanted to get to that because I don't know exactly how the Paragon works in this and Diablo 4. and Diablo 3 it worked like how after you got to max level it would share... Par Paragon levels would be like a level thing for all characters and it would be all all your characters should share the same level. Also my horse is like lagging. Um, I think it might have been like slowed or something from one of their abilities. Uh, also my... I've redone my class a lot since time the last that. time I played. I used to use uh, the poison, the poison imbuements. Now I use shadow imbuements, which sort of cause explosions. Uh, also, as you can see, I'm just trying to run past all this stuff because I don't really need to kill this stuff. It's kind of a waste of time trying to kill everything because it'll just spawn back anyway. But yeah, if you, I guess if you're like, you can like farm enemies if you want, and that's a way to level up. I don't think it's like the best way. But I don't know the best way yet. I think one day if one day I'll try to find out like a good way or like find my own way to level up like consistently and then maybe I'll make a video on that. More than I dare to count on my uh, yeah, so no this time. you know I wish I, maybe I should just think of a topic to talk about. Uh, I've been trying to think of like ways to, you know, improve my commentary. Uh, since I'm pretty new I'm still pretty new to this whole talking talking on video thing or just talking in general I don't usually do that so I guess it's kind of like improvising improvising commentary talking uh, you know I haven't I don't know if you've heard of uh, fairy tale it's like an anime uh, I've been re-watching it recently uh, well I haven't I started re-watching it like about a month ago uh, but yeah I don't know I just I, it's one of those animes that I really like, and uh, uh, my one of my friends he seems to hate it a lot. <laughs> I don't actually know why, because I don't think he's ever got past like episode like three or four, and I don't think it really gets good until like you know like uh, later than that, because at that point it still feels like a a show where it's just kind of like a silly, funny thing in the beginning, but then it seems to like you know start building up a sort of story later on. Like, I think my favorite arc may have been the Edelus arc. I think that's what they called that other world anyways. Oh, by the way, there's probably spoilers if you haven't watched... If you haven't watched Fairy Tale. Uh, oh, another another one that I've been 
watching, not rewatching it, this is my first time watching it, was the, uh, I'm, uh, I, I became stronger by raising my farm related skills, I think that's the end of it. And I think it's just funny because like in the first episode of the main character, there's a carrot and a dragon, and the dragon explodes. It's just really funny. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, I also... I don't know what, about reading, if you, any of you read, read manga. Uh, but yeah, I've been reading manga for My Hero Academia for a while. Uh, I'm not completely caught up. Uh, I'm like a couple weeks behind. Maybe like a month behind. Like a couple, just a couple chapters behind, I would say. Maybe... Because I don't know if they still release them weekly or whatever. Also, I, I know the manga was close to being over, so it may be over by this point. Uh, yeah. I, but the manga for it is really good. I'm not going to spoil anything about My Hero Academia, though, because... Yeah, I just... I think it's better. <laughs> it's more it's more enjoyable to read it or, I guess, wait to watch it for yourself. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't going to talk about it, I just really wanted to mention that I've been reading it. It's really good. Uh, same with Black Clover, I've been reading the manga for that, trying to keep up with it. Uh, well, I, I, I have, I'm just as far behind on that as I am on My Hero. Because I usually read those two at the same time whenever I decide to catch up. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I've, I haven't read any manga in a couple of weeks. So just been keeping up with schoolwork, trying to do YouTube, that kind of thing. And also, I just haven't been in a reading mood. Even, even with the that uh, what was it, the farm-related skills thing? Like, I became stronger by raising raising my farm-related skills. That anime, it's subbed right now. Like, there's no dub, and yeah, I've been having to read that. <laughs> That's the reason I haven't finished it, is because I just I don't feel like reading. <laughs> I know. Really that difficult. But I would say, in some ways, watching a subbed anime is harder than reading a manga. That's why a lot of the times when I find an anime that I want to watch that's subbed, I'll just try to find a manga somewhere, or you know, at least find some like reviews or recaps of mangas, just because I feel like it's easier. Uh, just I think I'm just like a particularly so, slow reader. Sometimes like when I read too fast I mix up words and stuff. So uh, it just makes more sense for me to read the manga, go at my own pace without having to like, you know, pause a video every time the text changes. Which with uh, the one that I was watching, I was actually not really paying that much attention to the text. I was just sort of loosely following. But I think it's one of those animes that you can just not really, you can just loosely follow because it felt like more of a comedy than anything. I, I think in terms of like comedy animes, my favorite one may be Konosuba, which is, I guess it's more like a parody thing, but yeah, it's really funny. It's like, um, <laughs> it feels like it's just something making fun of Isekais, which my friend and I make fun of Isekais a lot, so it kind of makes... It just feels like something we like to do. Which, uh, yeah, we, we <laughs> even though we make fun of Isekais, or I mean, I must say, like, yeah, even though I make fun of Isekais, I watch pretty much all of the ones that come out, like, like all the time. All the generic ones about, like, you know, that. Well, just pretty much all the generic things. Uh, and all the, all the good ones, all the generic ones. Uh, time to do that. You know, I can't remember the names of all of them right now. I was trying to think of one. It was just, it was like a slime taming one. I think it was like, I think it was just called like My Izekai Life, but the guy was like, ta he tamed slimes and I'm a wolf. Uh, and he could, yeah, it was, that one felt kind of, well actually, that one didn't feel as generic. It was a pretty interesting idea for, basically he was like a beast tamer, but he talked through like a radio magic and just like, con like controlled them from afar. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, I think an oh another another manga I, I read recently 
that was the Skeleton Knight in another world, or to another world, but whatever it's called, the Skeleton Knight one. Because I watched the anime for that, and I really wanted to get like f further with it. So, like, I wanted to see more of the story, so I just read further. Okay, I need to focus right now. I would be talking about mangas and animes that I've watched, but I'm almost dead here. Also, my game is like that. Diablo 4 doesn't seem to run too well on my PC. I mean, it runs well enough most of the time, but sometimes I'll just get like massive frame drops or complete freezes. Uh, I've had multiple crashes here. Not that many crashes, like maybe six or seven in total. And it's usually only when I have my like VTube Studio up. Uh, yeah, I think it's just like the amount of memory that both of them together take up. So I don't know that for sure. Uh, what am I doing? Retrieve. Oh yeah, the skeleton knight in another world thing. That's a that's one that I would highly recommend. I think at some point I'd like to go through and do a video of like all my maybe like top ten favorite animes. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I should list my list my top ten now and then like do a video on it in the future too. Which I don't know the top ten off the top of my head. I mean, I know like maybe top three, which I think the first one for me would be Black Clover, which I know, that's always like a. I think that's like a controversial one to say as your top. I don't think controversial is the right word, but. Uh, I think it's like one of those animes that you either love or hate. But yeah, I love the manga for that, the anime for that. It's, it's all very good. Uh, and then, okay, so that's number one. Number two would be Naruto, maybe? Or maybe, uh, no, I think Naruto would be three, and My Hero Academia would be two. Time to do that. And fourth would be Welcome to Demon School, which. Is also really good. Another one that I I've read a lot of the manga for, but I haven't been keeping up with it or anything. Oh yeah, that's like another like sort of series I want to do on my channel. Sort of where I just like review an anime or manga, or maybe even just like an episode. Of a I think it would be like the whole thing of like a, or maybe per season for anime. I don't know, I just, because like when I first started this channel, or when I first started uploading like, to this channel a lot, I really wanted to like make it focused on anime type stuff, and like sort of comedy skits. Gaming wasn't originally the idea for it. Actually the original, the very first idea was to do like, uh, game development stuff. So. If you go back like early on in my channel, like the first three videos are. Actually, I think two of the videos were like related to game development stuff. One of them was a trailer, a sort of trailer thing that I made for a game that I created. Uh, one of them was. I'm not ready yet. Sorry. I'm right there. Okay. Yeah, one of them was sort of some music, a stupid music thing video that I made with a model that I created. Using, I think it was a song from We the King. Uh, and then there was one that was actually actually a game. I basically developed a game and made the video like just a couple minutes long. Which I kind of want to do a video like that again in the future. It's just I it takes a lot of time to make those ones because I actually have to you know make a game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that would be fun. The game that I made before in that, that one video was, it started off as a Flappy Bird clone, which is sort of the title of I think like making the Flappy Bird with lasers, but it ended up just being like shooting lasers at penguins. It, was basically, it basically just became like a, a thing where you were on the like left side of the screen and you were a queen, like that was the model I think I used. The character model, and I didn't make the character model by the way. But, at least not for that. 
yeah, you were. I didn't make the character model or the penguins in that game. You were on the left side of the screen where Flappy Bird would usually be, and then there were penguins flying at you, and you were supposed to like shoot lasers at them, and that was about it. And you had like, I think I I either made it to where you had three or four lives. So basically, you got hit three or four times. I can't remember which one. Let's just say four times. If you got hit four times, then you'd die. The game would be over. I think it would have made more sense to just do it to where if you got hit even once, you were gone because the game was actually really easy to play. Uh, I think I still have it up on my itch if anyone wants to try it at any point. I I think I still have my itch.io linked on this channel somewhere. But yeah. Shouldn't be that What am I doing? Return the mechanical box to the pedestal. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Oh, this is. I don't actually want to do that. No, we will. Uh, we're actually all close to leveling up. Um, yeah, right. If you look on the right side here, we have Forgotten Ruins and a Wolf Slaughter. The Forgotten Ruins is the sort of like dungeon, side dungeon that we're in. But the the blue thing, the a Wolf Slaughter, is the quest we were doing. They just happen to like be in the same place. Or you had to come in here for the quest. Uh, but yeah, I'll do the. I'll start to do the dungeon. I may not be able to though. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at this. Also, if you see when I like dodge like this, it drops like little grenades there. That's one of my. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's not it. One of these may makes me drop grenades. Yeah, this one. Basically, when I evade or I think you shadow step or something, it just drops those stun grenades. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Uh, they're helpful, I guess. I don't really make good use of them most of the time. I mostly just forget that I have it, and I don't know if I'll like keep that ring permanently. So I think I'm, if I find something better, then I'll use it. Hopefully my, I'm not ready yet. hopefully my game audio isn't too loud because... Also, I got rid of my dash ability, which I keep trying to use to get out of situations like that. It's not working. Alright, but yeah. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and kill this thing. Also, when I get uh, crits, my, I heal up, which is why I'm trying to attack as much as possible. I already forgot what I was talking about there. Oh, I think I was talking about my game development stuff, yeah. I just feel like um, at this point, this it might not make sense for this channel. Though I am kind of mixing a lot of stuff on this channel already. Uh, I guess at this point, my, my channel is more of a variety channel, but I think at some point I may end up making multiple channels and splitting it up. But I'm not really sure. I feel like... Focusing on multiple things like that would be hard for me. Multiple channels. So yeah, I'm gonna probably stick to what I'm doing. Time to do that. Just gonna run away from those for now. I don't actually have natural health regen anymore. I used to have a ring that would help me heal up. It had like an effect on it where if I didn't take damage for a certain amount of time I would start healing, but I don't have that one anymore. So the only way to heal is for me to use potions or get crits on stuff. Which now seems like a good time to use a potion. Uh, I'm just gonna skip those enemies because all I really need to do is find the mechanical box. Which... I could do this event too. Let's do that. But now I can't leave my friends here. Honestly, we might level up from doing this event. I don't know. I've been I've actually been on level forty nine for like two hours. I don't even know, that might be I think that's right actually. It's not like I've been like 
like completely focused on doing quests though. I'm taking breaks and well I I took a break for a while. I need more time. And yeah, I keep going back to town to do to like salvage and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm still actually not making good use of my abilities either. I'm trying to focus there, but My goal is to protect these people, but I don't have to, and I probably won't be able to. Also, my barrage skill is more like a shotgun than anything, so I have to be like really close if I want to tar target a single enemy. Okay, yeah, they killed them. I think uh, if you keep them alive, you just get like two chests at the end instead of one, which is very good. Uh, yeah, anyways, if I were to do another, like, game dev video, I think I'd want to do, uh, um, my game jam, which is basically, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's basically, like, a contest, to, or just, like, a, it's, I guess, yeah, a contest is the right word, a competition against, like, other people, and you basically have to make a game, uh, within a certain time span, usually, like, a week are the ones that I would do, uh, you have to make it within a certain, like, within a week, and then, there was, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just have to make a game within a week, then upload it to itch.io, and then usually there will be a lot of other contestants in those meme jams. Uh, some of them have like real prices and stuff like that, but most of them are just like, you know, not nothing, no no prizes, but just for fun, uh, which is what why I do them anyways. I've done, I've only done like three, three game jams. Uh, most of the games I've made, actually I think I've made like maybe nine. Well, the first one on my itch.io page is one that I made with someone else uh, back in my first semester at college. Um, I made it with uh, like it was like a group, or not in my first semester. It was like my second or third semester. I made it with I did a group project, but it only ended up being me and one other person. And yeah, we made a game together. Uh, I don't really talk to them anymore, but. We just were, we, we only, we, we only talked to each other in school, like we were classmates. So we are friends, like on Discord and stuff. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, but three, I think like three of the games were game jam games, and then like the other six, five or six or whatever there was, were just games that I made uh, on my own. I think the mechanical thing is this way. Uh, but yeah, so. The themes usually, usually I will pick to do a game jam based on the theme, like if I like the theme. Uh, but if it ends up being a, a theme that I don't like, or one that I don't understand, I probably wouldn't do it. I don't know. Like I think I, it's not. There's usually not ones that I don't like, but there have been ones that I didn't understand or just didn't get an idea for. So that's why I have never entered them. Um, and usually I use Unreal Engine to do my stuff because, I mean, I know some C Sharp, so I can use Unity a little, but Blueprints for me is way easier. Than... Which Blueprints is like the visual scripting language in Unreal Engine. Which the reason, the reason I'm better with that is because uh, in my first college, first college I went to, where I already got my like associates, I learned blueprints only pretty much. In the college I'm going to now, I'm learning C sharp. Oh, and Python. Which Python? I don't think I would want to use that to make a game together. Time to do that. Like I have made like some small prototypes of games of it using Pygame, but not really interested. And yeah, I'm not interested in making that. Because like I think the bigger game like bigger games made with Python wouldn't really work too well. Because I think um what is it? 
I think it's called like a high level interpreting language. And then low level would be better because that's like closer to being uh, whatever. To be honest, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know all the technical stuff really. <laughs> Sometimes I act like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. Oh, did I just pick up a ring there? Was this one basic skills in 22% attack speed? Uh, deal 15% increased damage. We have a barrier active. Yeah, I think I picked up that one there. I don't want to use that. Oh, I'm like so close now. I think the thing's down there. <laughs> I, I guess I won't be. Ha I won't have to finish that quest if I manage to. Do I might even just level up and kill one of these enemies. Uh, here, let me see how close I am exactly. Uh, 67, or 677,000 out of 689,000. So I do need, like, quite a bit of XP. Really close now that, uh, there it is. I went invisible to try to pick that thing up. Like Basically, whenever I'm in like big crowds like that, sometimes I'll insta die unless I can start getting like attacks off and proc my arrow ring. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, the main enemies I have problems with though are ones that can stun. Ones that can stun or like immobilize. Like there are like these spider enemies that'll. Shoot webs that, or I don't even know if it's like the webs that they shoot at you because I never feel like I'm able to dodge the <laughs> entangled. So oh, we're like really close now. We need like less than 3,000 XP, I think, or like just about 3,000. Wow. Ugh, sorry, I was taking a drink. Uh. There should be a boss fight, I think, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. As you can see, probably in recording my game is reading. I'm hoping the recording is okay, actually. I don't think about that. Basically, my, my basically attack strategy is to keep the pressure up constantly. As much as I can. When I was doing the poison build, it was all about like my build felt like I was running around, oh, running away a lot. But with how I have my thing set up now, I have like the life steal. Well, it's not actually life steal. It's, like getting crits can give me health. But yeah, that makes it a lot easier for me to stay in the fight. Uh, I guess we could go back to talking about anime. Oh, actually, I didn't talk much about Welcome to Demon School when I brought that up. Uh, that's a, that's one that I would definitely recommend. That's like a like, sort of light-hearted one, which you might not think so since Demon is in the title. And also, the, if you were to explain the anime to someone, at least the start of it, they might also think it's a dark anime. Because basically, at the start, in the start of an anime, a demon buys a child. <laughs> But then, then after that, it becomes Lyari because he like adopts him as his grandson. I think my dog wants out of my room. I tried to let her out after this fight. You might hear her barking down there. Where is Cora? Oh, Cora is her name, by the way. Doing okay in this fight. Just have to keep keep on attacking. That should keep my health up. Okay, I mean, 
I don't really know what these things are that are like shooting at me from the side. Oh, they're fine. Yeah, the, th the thing is, whenever I my uh, yeah, my character isn't as good at doing single targets as it is like lots of enemies at once because my shadow and demons caused enemies to explode. Uh, meaning, like that's sort of what I focus on, so I can take out groups of enemies pretty quickly. All right, there we go. Oh my! <laughs> my VTuber may have been floating there a little bit. Uh, hopefully my, yeah, I'm back by the way. Hopefully my recording isn't bad because it looks like it is on the stream. It looks like lagging, but hopefully that's just like not an issue. Um, I think after we finish this quest, which I think this might be the end of it, then we should be able to level up. There should be all the XP left that we need, or like right at the edge of leveling up. I'm actually so excited to get level 50. I don't know, it feels like I've been like trying for the, yeah, I've basically been trying this for this for three days. Uh, I mean like, I've taken breaks obviously to do school work and stuff like that. But, yeah, like every time I've been like playing games, this has basically been the only game I've been playing. I played Seven Days to Die a little though. Um, just not much, for like a couple hours. I think that was yesterday? No, then the day before yesterday. The day I like may start did my stream first stream for trying to get level fifty, but yeah, that didn't work out. But yeah, I, I basically then back then I got like overestimated how long it I have another quest here I think to turn in or. I found this letter. This thing looks like it's been through hell. Let's see what we've got. A damned invoice. Hey, well, let me skip course. this. I'm trying to skip it. This could have stayed lost, you know. Ah, oh, actually, I better get this paid. It's dangerous to be in debt around here. I really want to skip for your this. Help. I don't care what they have to say. Okay. Oh, there we go. Level up. Um, I'll go ahead and turn in this quest too, though. I unlocked Paragon. I want to look at that with you. So I wonder. Yeah, we're at a point where we need a million five hundred seventy-one thousand one hundred and thirty to level up. That's crazy. But I think what was it? We just needed like eight hundred thousand, or like almost nine hundred thousand there. So it's already close to a million. But oh. <laughs> No wonder it's so. <laughs> no wonder I was walking so far in a different place. Uh, yeah, we'll look. At, we'll look at the Vargon stuff after. After I turn this quest in. Sorry, my like brain is fried right now. I've been at this for a long time today. After I finish recording this, I'm probably gonna at least start the editing editing process and then go to sleep. Because yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel so tired, but also so relieved that I made it. Um, yeah, I'm like really excited. I'm healing well, thanks to the herbs Tala carried in her pack. Please skip this either. She was a skilled healer and a cunning warrior. We offer you Tala's dagger as a token of our thanks. Remember her name and carry it well. All right. I also need to empty out my inventory. But I'll do that off camera to you. Okay, let's, let's finally look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited I unlocked Paragon stuff. Oh, this is so confusing. I guess now that I unlocked Paragon though, I should try for level 100. <laughs> I think that's I think that's supposed to be the max, but uh, my question is, is there like Paragon and player level? Like is Paragon not a level anymore? Do you not 
Oh yeah, I didn't get actual skill points here. Um, I should be able to still earn more from... Yeah, I guess the next 50, the next 50 I get, or 49 I get, or whatever, 50 I get will be Aragon. Uh, what is this? Do I get, like, a, to choose anything on this, or do I have to, like, start at a specific place? Glyph. Uh, yeah, this is very confusing. I may have to, like, choose what I do on this off video. But let me open this up completely. Um, for every five strings purchased within range, you gain plus 1.1%. Damage to crowd control targets. So, the glyph socket is there. Is that the only. Do I have to like buy that? Is that the... I think that's the only glyph socket. So, these are rare nodes. Requirements not met. Not unlocked yet, not unlocked. Requirements not met. Oh, it says 117 out of 160 strength. 163 out of 70 intelligence. 117 out of 170 strength. 163 out of 160 intelligence. Oh, this gives plus 20% damage. Can I go for that? No, I can't. Does it say... I'm confused here. Like, oh, this is the starting node. Okay. So you sort of like build your way up the tree, I guess. Uh, so I could go with dexterity, strength, or dexterity. <laughs> I think it would make more sense to go here. Uh, because dexterity gives you, like, I think it's skill damage. And this, since these are the same thing, I think it makes more sense to go here. So when I start doing my like research, I don't have to. Re oh, refund cost is zero. Probably because I just now got to Paragon. Uh, but yeah, then I can decide like start studying, it, like reading through all this stuff, and decide which way I want to go with it. That way, I mean, yeah, I I can refund it for free. I didn't know I would be able to, but yeah, I thought like that was smart. <laughs> Also, can I just put anything in this glyph socket? Because it doesn't say not unlocked. Uh, for every five intelligence for this within range, for every five intelligence, for every five intelligence, for every five strength, for every five tickets they already purchased in range, you gain 0.5% damage in pre. Flip that. here like yeah I'm like really confused maybe you do have to maybe you have to just get like close enough or maybe you do have to unlock that because like all these other things say not unlocked yet but that doesn't say anything um, but yeah this is cool I'm glad I got to this yeah the paragon <laughs> paragon level is way different oh I just realized my VTuber was in the way of reading this glyph stuff, wasn't it? I don't think I'll- actually, I don't think it was. Um, yeah, this is way different than what it was in Diablo 3. It actually looks really cool. I mean, I think it's actually sort of similar. Like, concerning, like, the stuff you can get from it. So this is... Board Attachment Gate. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Wait, is that like a, you get to a new board? I get to maybe you get more like park on stuff to go into. Uh, yeah, we didn't get another skill point. Meaning, I think the only way I have left to get skill points at this point is these things. So I'd be able to get. Oh, at the end you get park on points too. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to get one, two. We'll go from here. One, two, uh, three. So we'll get three more. Um, and that's something that I would want to do probably off video too. Maybe on stream or something. Uh, and 
what else was there? I think that's it. I think that's... Oh. Uh, what I may end up doing in here... It's going to cost a lot. But I might refund all my points. Yeah, so... Uh, though I think I ha I might just go through and refund some of them. See which ones I don't want anymore. I know I want this the same. Uh, yeah. I definitely want to keep this. Basically puncture throw three blades in a spread. Uh, usually I would just throw one. Instead of like, uh, doing, oh, I can't show you now. But yeah, instead of throwing like three out in front of me, I'd just throw one, which I like more. Uh, but yeah, it kind of goes with the barrage. Like, I have to be really close to hit like all the things on one target. But when I'm, whenever there's a lot of targets, it's a lot easier to hit. I also went for this thing. Whenever a single cast of barrage ricochets at least four times, you your next cast gains 20% increased critical strike chance. I could have went for the every third cast of a rush makes enemies vulnerable. I think I may switch to that, I don't know. Oh, I never got anything in this. Damaging an enemy with shadow step increases your critical strike chance against them by 8% for 3 seconds. Enemies damaged by shadow step are stunned for 2 seconds. Shadow step's cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds when it damages an enemy you have not hit with shadow step in the last 4 seconds. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I would go th through that. Uh, what is this? Gain 5% damage reduction against damage over time effects. Gain 6% damage reduction while infected with control bearing effects. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'll stop reading that stuff, but yeah, by the way, I don't know if this is the only way to get skill points now. Like, I don't know if these are the last three I can get, but these are the ones I, I know for sure that I could get but yeah how many points did we have there I said a refund all 55 and if we get three more that'd be 58 <laughs> yeah 58 math is hard um, which I think is like enough to make your build just means you're not gonna be able to get like everything that you'd want Oh, wait, no, no, that's fine. I thought that was something I had for po I thought that said poison and fume. It says precision and fume. Uh, I guess that's it. Consuming shadow. Yeah, this one is pretty cool. Each time I kill an enemy with shadow damage, I generate 30 energy, so I can like kill like fire for longer with my barrage. Um, I guess at this point. What I need to do is try to focus on getting legendaries. Maybe I should look online and see what all legendaries and stuff like that there are. So I can know like what I want to try to get. Because at the... Actually, I guess I could go to the curiosity vendor now. There's a curiosity vendor. And they will sell stuff for obols. Which obols are things you, like currency you get from doing like events. And stuff like that. And yeah. Uh... I, right now I only have a hundred because I keep spending them because like you have a limit to how much you can carry which I think might increase over time depending on your level but yeah right now I only have a hundred so uh, let me salvage I'll just salvage all my rares and commons actually I'll just salvage everything I have on me except for the legendaries uh, because yeah I don't want I don't salvage legendaries yet I mean, eventually I'll probably go through and salvage some of them, because I know some are duplicates, so that's the wrong... ...over here. Wait. Uh, yeah, let's salvage... ...rare... There's that. Some of those might have been better than some of the stuff I have, but I really don't... ...care. Oh, common. Come back if you need the forge. And yeah, the Curiosity Vendor, vendor is over here. Um, I think with what I have, I would only be able to buy, like, one item. Because I think most of them either cost, like, 60 or... 4... Actually, I, don't, I, I think 60 might be the lowest. I'm just going to get off that thing. My horse seems to be lagging for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it might be broken. Maybe my horse is just effective. Still love her, though. Here's the curiosity vendor. A hundred, yeah. Oh, okay. So there's stuff that cost forty. I also, I, <laughs> but I spent most of my, uh, <laughs> well, 
a lot of my opals on are these keys because you'll find like silent chests sometimes that you can open but you need those keys uh they haven't given me anything good though so i don't know if it was worth it oh we could buy daggers for 50 let's buy two of them usually you get yeah usually you don't get good stuff but you have chances for legendaries i think that's where i got uh actually both of these i maybe I, maybe only one of them pretty sure i've gotten like two daggers from them uh i can't remember what all legendaries i got from that the curiosity vendor though uh i can show you my stash really quick before i end the video here at this point, I'm just like kind of stall uh, stalling for no reason. Uh, I've already been recording for 47 minutes. A lot of this will probably be cut out. Okay. Let's just show you my stash and then we'll end the video. Yeah, I have like all these legendaries and some of them came from the... Some of them came from the curiosity vendor. Some of them just came from like drops and chests, stuff like that. Uh, that stuff will be salvaged. Also, my armor needs repaired. You can tell that I've died four times since the last time I repaired my armor because uh, the durability is 60 out of 100. But yeah, uh, I finally took this off. I did like this. My shadow clone also mimics and viewments. But yeah, I felt like I out-leveled it because this thing's like level 20. Even though I did upgrade it some, these things just do more damage. Plus these uh, actually have some good... This this has a good thing. Barrage's arrows have a 23% chance to split into two arrows whenever they ricochet. Uh, which just like, you know, helps with the damage. And then uh, your marksman skills have up to a 10% chance to create an arrow storm at, enemy's location, at the enemy's location dealing 1,110 physical damage over 3 seconds. Uh, you can only have up to 5 th er, active arrow storms. But yeah, that one's really good. That's like my favorite ability. You'll see that like being procced sometimes when I'm fighting. And it's really good. I, I used to have a ring on that did that, I think. It was a ring. I should be in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there. It does less, so it does 844. Um, but yeah, now I don't have to have that on my ring. I can just have that on my daggers. And as you can see, I still only have two legendary armor pieces on. I have some gloves here, but just because something is... Wait, your shadow clone mimics imbuement supply to... I might use this. It'll bring down my barrage though by two rings um uh yeah i'll use it no not yet <laughs> it's it's tough it's tough to say okay i finally got in the video because this is gonna i'm just making it harder for me to edit later uh anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next one have a good one goodbye